All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Spartan Outdoors TV. Got back from uh, 25 miles offshore, went for a little sea bass trip, caught our limit. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to, how to do these whole. Um, a lot of people bake them or, you know, just fillet them because they have really tough bones. They have a lot of hard scales. But I'll show you it's worth it if you take the time and uh, process these fish. So this is going to be a whole fried black sea bass. Here we go. First thing you want to do, take off all these fins. Nice sharp pair of shears here. Uh, definitely works better than a knife. Take off every fin that we have here underneath. I like to hold underneath the gill, control the fish. It's nice and safe. The bones are pretty hard on these fins, but you know, you want to get as close as you possibly can. That way there's no sharp, jagged edges. I'm going to slice the tail off here, right where the meat stops. And lastly, we got these uh, big, nasty spines on the back. It's the last set of fins we got to take off. You want to make sure you're right on top of the uh, top of the vertebrae right here. Should come off in one piece. Okay, so that's our fish. Um, at this point, I'm not going to scale it yet. Uh, I'm going to open up the gut cavity here. Insert my knife right there, or you can insert it back here by the anal fin. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you that and just kind of go up through to where you find this hard sternum here the rib cage open that up we're going to gut the fish now remove its entrails just go inside this cavity and then uh, what i'm going to do here on either side where those fins were there's a little collarbone here and i'm just going to cut right up through it on one side see that that's the cut i made I'm gonna cut on this side. And so all we're taking out here is a little bit of throat meat and the uh, gills, that's, that's all we're losing. Um, but the fish is intact, the fillets there are intact. If I was baking it, I'd leave the head on, but since we're gonna be frying this whole, like deep frying it, I'm just gonna slice right through the backbone. Uh, maybe don't use your best knife for this, but just go right through the backbone. Slice right on through it. Head's gone. All right, there's our piece of fish. Beautiful black sea bass. Last thing we gotta do, uh, probably the most annoying part, is just remove the scales. They have tons of them. Uh, they're big, they're thick. So, uh, you know, it might take a few passes, but I'm just using a little steak knife here. You can use a spoon. Uh, there's tools that they, they sell too, but you don't need them. And so just kind of slowly, I'm using a lot of force here, more force than I would with like a flounder. And you can see they're big, large, thick scales and they cover the entire fish. So that's what it looks like. Uh, gutted, F fins removed, scales removed, ready to fry whole. Just one final thing we're gonna do. Uh, clean off some room here. Last thing I'm gonna do is just score the fish. Um, this is a pretty pretty big sea bass, pretty thick fish. It's not like frying a fillet. You know, you need to make sure you open up some holes every three quarters of an inch or an inch. That'll help your batter get in there and help, most importantly, help that oil get in there. So I'll just do five or six across and then I'll just do one right down the middle, split them in half, and that'll be perfect. Same thing on the other side, one, two, three, four, five cuts. Don't wanna cut through any bones, just right down to the bone, through the meat, and then right through the middle. On either side, it's unzipped, it's opened up, it's flexible now, ready for the batter, and then into our oil. All right guys, here's that beautiful uh, black sea bass that we gutted, scaled, and um, got ready for whole frying, put our uh, cuts in it. Now we're gonna dredge it in um, our, our mixture here. Um, I use house autry almost every time I fry seafood. Um, so I'll take a little bit of that and I'll mix it with Cajun seasoning, uh, sometimes garlic salt. But uh, yeah, really, really good stuff, really cheap. You know, you pick it up for three or four bucks and it lasts for a long time. You can see there, just kind of inspect it, look for any raw spots or anything where there's no batter. 
that looks pretty good. And we're just gonna nice and carefully drop it into the fryer. Got my oil at about 375, 350 is fine as well. And we're just gonna let that go. All right, we're, uh, we're at about 10 minutes here with this black sea bass, fried them whole. That oil fall off a little bit. Um, I checked them at five minutes just to see how everything was going. You can see that oil got in there nice and perfect, just like that flounder. Um, these little squares are just going to pull right off. And uh, let that dry on a paper towel, and then we're going to plate it up. All right, guys, there we go. Um, start to finish, whole flounder, whole sea bass. Hear that? It's really nice and crispy, just how you want it. And um, like I said, I think I, I put in more slits than, you know, I think I've seen other people on YouTube do, but this is how I've always done it. Because look at that. You just pull apart. Whether it's the flounder or the sea bass, you just pull out that rectangle of meat. Nice and fresh. Yeah, that's outstanding. Give this one a try, guys.